Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer, and of course, you guys know me as the Audio Sorcerer. So today is an exciting day. I received my studio foam in the mail. And I wanna give a shout out to AeroZoom, who is the provider and manufacturer of this foam. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my new studio sound much better than it currently does with this foam. So let's get to it. So here we are in the new studio, and before we get to actually putting the foam on the wall and talking about it, I want to tell you what comes in the packaging. So you get this little card here. It's essentially a contact card for AeroZoom, so if you ever need to get hold of them. You get these sticky adhesives. So these are actually what you're going to mount the foam with. Now, I've used the spray before, and it works well, but if you're moving and you need to remove it from the wall, it, it really sucks. So I'm excited to try these out here. And of course the foam. So the foam here um, is kind of smashed when you get it. This piece is starting to expand a bit, so it's actually starting to look pretty good. But um, ideally you want to, you know, take them out of the packaging, let them sit for a day to fully expand. And if they're not expanding well, you can simply just get it wet and then let it sit on a paper towel and dry. And that's really all you need to do. All right, so let's actually get to figuring out where we're going to put this in the studio. All right, so what I'm thinking is we got 48 pieces of foam sent by AeroZoom. So what I wanna do in this room here is that the reverberation is pretty bad. So we got um, a lot of windows, as you can see, it's a panoramic window view here. We got kind of this little cubby hole in the back for the guitars. Then we got a closet for storage here. And then we got the side wall here. And then we're kind of back at the front. So. It's a pretty small room, and again, what I offer is, you know, mixing and mastering services, so this is, you know, great for that, minus the windows. So what we're going to do is we are going to essentially create some, you know, absorbance behind this speaker here. And you could use bass traps, um, but also the kind of foam I have, the pyramid style foam, we can create our own kind of bass trap behind this here. So we'll kind of do it up to the ceiling, down to just right behind the monitor. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. And we're actually going to use a little bit less foam over here because it hits the window, as you can see right there. And I'm thinking over here in the back, we're just going to do a four foam diamond shape pattern back here to maybe just trying to trap some of the frequencies that get back into this cubby hole, as I call it. And then we're going to treat the doors on this here. And then also over here, I am not going to do anything to this wall. Uh, because I want to keep the picture there and I really like it. So we'll see if that's a problem or not. So that is the game plan. So with that being said, let me actually get to it here and I'm going to get this foam up and then we can see it in action. All right, so I kind of changed up my plan a little bit as I started installing the foam. So looking over here, I did behind the left studio monitor as planned up to the ceiling, as you can see, and then I took it all the way across the top above the window and then down over behind the right studio monitor. So, you know, not only is it good for acoustics, but it's also aesthetically pleasing because we're essentially got a nice kind of uh, black window frame for the windows overlooking this awesome park behind the studio. Now, going back here, I kind of kept this as planned, except I did a you know square look instead of a diamond look and I use nine pieces of foam as opposed to four. And then I did four pieces on the doors here. I didn't do anything down below here. Um, I have cats and they're gonna just kind of go after them if I put them down there. And then on the left wall, I said I wasn't gonna do anything, but what I did was I moved the picture and I created two diamonds. So this back one here actually will help grab some of the right studio monitor because I have it pointed in and it shoots towards this wall. So again, the idea for these was just to help with the reverberation in the room. It's not to soundproof the room, okay? We'll talk more about that a little bit later. So what I wanna do now is we're gonna do a audio test. You can hear 
what the sound sounded like before I did the treatment and after. So let's give it a listen. This is a microphone test, Chuck 1-2, six inches away from the microphone in an untreated room. Microphone test, one, two, three. This is a microphone test, Chuck 1-2. This is six inches away from the microphone after I have treated the room with studio foam. Microphone check, testing one, two, three. All right, so that's actually a pretty good difference. So if you were listening on your cell phone, you may not have heard anything, but if you had headphones on, you should have been able to hear that the treated vocal recording is more focused and you hear less reverb in it. And reverb that we hear as humans is more in the mids, upper mids, and highs. We don't hear low end reverb. Low end in general is something that we feel, okay? And the reason I mention that is because this type of studio foam, this is not for soundproofing. Sound will go right through it because it's porous. Uh, it's for dampening that high end reverb, okay? So don't expect this studio foam to treat your low end. And we're actually gonna look at an example here and I'm gonna show you that it does not do anything to your low end. So just if you could take anything away from this video, you're gonna be treating your high end room reverb with this type of foam, okay? So let's actually take a look at this graph here. So in these pictures here, I have a pre-treatment measurement on the left-hand side and a post-treatment measurement on the right-hand side. And this was done using IK Multimedia's ARC3, which is a software microphone package that allows you to tune out your studio monitors for the room that they're in. So as you can see, the measurements look exactly the same, more or less, between the pre and post treatment. Now, that's not really what I wanna talk about here. I wanna talk more about the low end. So as I told you before, this type of foam does not do anything for low frequencies, and you can see it in these graphs here, okay? So, you know, we heard though, you know, audibly in the example before this, that there definitely is a difference in the tone, okay? We definitely have got a more focused, sound and we were able to cut out some of the room frequencies. So, you know, it may not change the measurement of the room that much, but it does make a difference and it does make a more pleasant environment to record in because I will say that when I'm doing YouTube videos or podcasts or whatever, this more focused sound sounds a lot better. And it's definitely a lot easier to work with when I'm adding, you know, heavy compression and effects too. All right. So, that is what I want to show you regarding our, you know, audio example and these graphs here. But now let's actually take a look at the AeroZoom website and let me show you, you know, what product I got. And then you can see all the different stuff they have. All right. So let's take a look at that. All right. So here we are on the AeroZoom website. And throughout this video, you probably saw a coupon code popping up. That coupon code is in the description below and it will get you 10% off the whole entire website. So if you're looking to get yourself some good studio foam, definitely take advantage of that. So looking at the Pyramid Foam series here, this is what I was sent. You can see it comes in a ton of different colors and many different size options here. So AeroZoom is probably one of the manufacturers that has the largest color and size selection out there. So you're definitely gonna be able to find something that you want, all right? And check out the price of this here. So I go to 48, this is the two inch foam I have that 10 by 10. So it's currently only 99.99 for 48 pieces. Okay, that is dirt cheap. So if you were trying to get, you know, Oralex, you're gonna be spending a heck of a lot more than that. And what I love about AeroZoom is they have such a large selection up here. So look at all the acoustic treatments that we have here, okay? Anything you can imagine here. Um, they even got your isolation box for vocals. They have the hexagon panels, which are more, to me, aesthetically pleasing. They would have soundproof curtains, you know, just a little bit of everything. And their adhesives, what I showed you earlier in this video, are awesome. I actually only used one per acoustic foam panel and they're up, no issues with it, okay? So a very large selection here. So. You know, I just wanted to show you this here and show you what AeroZoom has to offer. Very happy with what I got here. And I think that, you know, if you guys are looking for, you know, some foam that is affordable and that's gonna make your studio sound better than it does, definitely check out AeroZoom.com, use my 10% off coupon and you'll be good to go. 
So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And if you like this content, as mentioned earlier in the video, definitely check out my video on the IK Multimedia Arc System 3. And with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.